Hey everyone, uh, we are going to do some motion notes. Uh, so on our table of contents, down on page 19, we're going to do motion. So let's go to page 19. So 17 was our last one, that was gravity. If you forgot to put the page down, write that down. Let's turn the page. So this is page... 19. So let's set up our Cornell notes. So there's a line down the side, two lines across the top. I'll put my name up here as well as the date. I don't remember what day we did this. So, oops, 12, um, five? I think that's what it was. And then whatever class period you have. All right. Uh, so this one's motion. So let's put motion at the top. And our essential question. How do we calculate speed? And that's just one of the things we could do. We could do time or distance but from speed. But let's do that one. Uh, so first of all. In order to calculate speed and know if we're moving, we need to know what a distance is. And I know that's super basic, but we gotta start off somewhere. So distance, what is distance? Distance is just a change in position. I started too late, hold on. Change in position. So, uh, traveling from point one to point two. So you change position, you've gone a distance. So from here to there, how far is that? Pretty straightforward. The next one is motion or speed. They're kind of interchangeable. So motion or speed, this is the change in position which is what we just had, so that's our distance, and it's over time. So how long did it take to move that distance? So this word over means I'm actually dividing, and so we can write this distance, which is change in position, and then I'm dividing by time. So that's my equation for speed. So distance divided by time is speed. And that actually leads us to <coughs> that actually leads us to the magic triangle. And the magic triangle is really cool because it allows us to use this equation a bunch of different ways. So I'm going to draw a triangle with a T in the middle. It's a capital T. Uh, that gives us a space in the top and then two on the bottom. So I'm going to be putting these different labels in here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and put D is equal to distance. T is equal to time. And S is equal to speed. All right, so if I put these in here, D, S, and T. Awesome. So now they're in my triangle. Uh, now I'm going to put in a couple symbols. So right in between the S and the T, I'm going to put an X, and that means multiplication. And then between the top and the bottom, I'm going to put some dividing symbols. And that means that uh, I can use this to find the distance, the time, or the speed if I'm given the other two. So let's say I'm looking for speed, which I usually am going to be. I cover up the speed, and that gives me the equation. So if I cover up speed, now I'm left with the D and the T. Well, 
the thing between them, while well, they're stacked. That means I divide. Distance divided by time. If I'm looking for distance, so I cover this one up, now I'm left with speed times time. Okay, so they're next to each other. I multiply. Finally, if I cover up the t, now I'm left with the distance divided by speed. So I'm looking for time, it's distance divided by speed. So those two would be given to you, you just have to divide them. Uh, so maybe the hardest part is figuring out, okay, what is the distance and what is the speed? And then you'd have to know like the units and stuff. So for time, it might be seconds or minutes or hours. So that'd be time. Distance, we could go centimeters. Should I just do cm? Centimeters, meters, um, it could be miles, uh, it could be feet, I guess. Those are distances. And then for speed, we could do meters per second. And the key word here is per. So if it has the per, that means it's a speed. So that I would put that next to this one. So that's how we use the magic triangle. Uh, it's going to be very helpful for when we do those equations. Uh, when we use this stuff, usually we want a direction. Like, where is it going? Like, it, I, it's great if I know I'm going 50 miles an hour, but where is that pointing? And in, that is what is called a vector. And vector is also a character from Despicable Me. It's a great character. Uh, but his catchphrase is that he has direction, or his evil has direction, and magnitude, which is the definition of a vector. So both direction and magnitude. Uh, how we would distinguish that, uh, we put a dot with an arrow. So this arrow, how big this is, is the amount and the direction is obviously where it's pointing. Uh, so that is a vector. Now if I have a specific vector just for speed, that's called velocity. So velocity is just a vector, but it's talking about speed. So speed and direction. Cool. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, and then, if we're going a the same speed the whole time, then it's velocity. But if I change my velocity, then it's acceleration. So it's a change in velocity over time. So again, I've got this over, that means I'm dividing. So if I'm going zero miles an hour, and then I go up to 60 miles an hour, well, that's my change in velocity, but how long did it take? Did it take me 10 seconds? Well, then I would divide that, and that would be my acceleration. So, the rest is just examples using the magic triangle. So, uh, this is it for notes for today. See you later.